The tail's wagging the dog. Would you rather see it happen? I would have rather seen it just dismissed outright. Today. I think you had said to me last time we talked that John Nyman had said they would not go or they weren't welcome. Am I right? Right, yeah, he's, he's, well, he said that to me. And yeah, I mean, this is pain, painfully obvious. They're not welcome. So why are they even pursuing it at this point? It's, it's very, very disappointing. My voice overlapped a little bit with yours. May I have you repeat that again? I'm so sorry. I'm just very disappointed. I really am. I'm almost sick. It's, it just didn't play well. I thought I would attorneys and our counsel did a fine job, made the right eye. Yeah. And it's just, it just doesn't seem right to me. It sounds like the siding board is giving themselves the option to continue it even beyond the 90 day suspension that they can Correct. suspend it again Correct. after that. Correct, that's what it sounds like. Right. It sounds like they're just going to keep pushing this down the road until they can approve it. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's uh, bought and paid for. And, you know, we followed the rules. The governor asked us to trust the process, and here we are. So how can we trust anything? And this is Rhode Island, though. I mean, it's hard to trust anything that's coming out of the state house. And it's just very disgusting. What's your next step at this point? I don't know. I'll have to consult with the attorneys. And I mean, they will hold a hearing. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, yes. So while this is suspended, what kind of impact does that have on, uh, you know, the lawyer mentioned that, you know, this was costing... Time and money. You know, I'm kind of conservative. I watch the budget in town. Um, I haven't cared about spending money on this process. I think the biggest toll is on the people from town. It's, it's, it's a shame. If, um, That's why I think the headline... If the governor could come out there and just sit.